Hey guys, my name is Stephanie and you're watching Converge TV. We're here in Richmond at the Tapestry and we're getting ready for the Advent Christmas Tour. Future 4th Street and Kai Kai are going to be performing tonight, but before they do, they're going to chat with us. Here's what they had to say. I used to just make Christmas arrangements of songs and just kind of saw how people really, really kind of were taken to another place with them. Um, mostly because they're used to hearing Christmas songs kind of in a jovial, um, festive way, uh, which I think is great, but I, I think there's a part of Christmas that's very, very nostalgic, very, very deep, very spiritual, and I really wanted to bring that to people and let them have an experience that they could just kind of be overwhelmed by, um, by the concept of God becoming flesh and dwelling mm -hmm. amongst us. Have you ever had a moment on, um, on tour talking to someone who listens to your music where you heard the response and it was just, yes, this is very much why God pulled us together and God put us on this tour and why we keep doing what we do. Was there one moment where that just became so clear to you? I think I, I almost have that moment like, you know, almost every night actually. Um, even on those nights that, that we all just go, man, that was a bad concert. We just all screwed up and all these things. But then one person will just come at, to the merchandise table and we're talking to them and say, I've been listening to your music for this many years and I can't tell you like how many times I've sat and they'll name this, a specific okay. song and say, I was driving in my car and this song hit me this way. And there's like personal stories behind yeah. these things, you know? And then to see them come and say, I, I was in tears all night, like as the concert was going on, just so moved. Um, the combination between them taking the music home and then coming to the concert and experiencing it, it becomes a very, very emotional and spiritual experience for them. And um, it's totally worth it. That's where I go, man, you know, all the hardships that I've gone through on this tour, um, are, they really paid off. Is there ever a time where you have to stop and separate the band stuff from the family stuff, or do you have to set apart? certain chunk of time just to do family stuff and not band stuff or does that end up becoming the same thing for you? On, on the road? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's all the same, kind of. <laughs> and then when we go home, because... we're all together at family dinners yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. So it's yeah. just like, yeah, because I mean, we're all family. So it's just like, on the road, we're family. All the time. We're family. So yeah. it's kind of all they want thing. It keeps just, us together. Yeah, it keeps sure. us together. Like, honestly, sometimes I'm like, I don't know, we... I know, work without being involved with just like being We know our buttons. Yeah, yeah exactly. Not to push. We always, uh, the one thing that I think um, is that obviously it's family, so you kind of get, you know, being on the road and stuff like that, sometimes you get at each other and stuff like that. But the main thing is that we know how to, since we kind of grew up, or kind of grew up together, we know how to resolve issues real quick. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the key is to resolve whatever problem it is real fast and stuff. And being the only girl, it's an amazing thing to know the boys are your brothers. What sort of responses do you get from mainstream audience when they listen and they realize they really like your music and then, oh my gosh, I didn't realize, you know, they're talking about spiritual things here, mm -hmm. they're talking about something really deep. So what sorts of responses and how do you respond to that? Um, we, I, I think it's great. Yeah, we yeah. get a great response. <laughs> yeah, we get, we get, yeah. So, I mean, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome when like somebody, um, you know, even listens to our music for a while and, and maybe it doesn't really, it doesn't click right away that it is, because all the lyrics and everything are very uh, scripture based and stuff. And we sometimes just say it in different ways, so it's not the usual kind of lingo that Christian songs are, are usually use and stuff. It's, and it's really encouraging, I think, for us to, you know, hear people say that I'm totally into this, even though, like, I don't even believe in God or, or I don't normally listen to Christian music or anything like that. Um, I think that's, I think it's great, because I mean, for us as a band, I definitely think that um, we, we're definitely trying to reach out and definitely encourage and build up the church as well, because we're part of the church and everything, but it's also awesome to be, um, you know, used by God to just, you know, yeah, reach the world and stuff like that, and, you know, and go, go places musically where maybe other bands are not able to go to stylistically.